Let's take a look at the password policies in Password Manager. One of the neat features of Password Manager is the ability to set what we call fine-grained password policies as well as multiple password policies. And what this essentially means is that we can do policies that Microsoft Active Directory can't do. And you can take a look here, I'll show you. For example, here are the policy rules that I have set up. And you can see we have this huge list of policies that we can do, all the way from a dictionary rule, so that if we have words in the dictionary in a dictionary that we that we define, they can't be in there. So if you don't want your corporate name or product names or something like that to be in people's passwords, you could do that there. It also has a basic default dictionary of, I don't know, five hundred or a thousand words that are that are common. Uh, all the way down to symmetry rule where you can't do ABC, CBA, stuff like that. We can do obviously the password aging rules, certain characters disallowed, required, sequence rules so you can't do AAA, BBB, that kind of thing. Uh, we can have it so they don't pull things from their username, say their, their first name or their last name, things like that. And then we also have a customizable rules that you can do as well. So you can kind of write a little bit of script in here that would that would do something else with it. Another neat feature is that we can apply it to different groups. So if you want to apply one policy for your admin users and a different policy for your regular users, that's fine. You just have two different policies and they apply to two different users. We also have the ability to apply these same policies even if the user resets their password outside of Password Manager. It does require a small installation on the domain controller in order to use the Microsoft password templates and then we can go ahead and do that.